Hello, this is hopefully the final Hot Tweezers episode. As you know, I've been in a quest in order to find some Hot Tweezers that would work for me. I tried all the cheap ones and none of those were any good. So I had a look at the US branded ones and the cheapest set I saw is what you'd have to buy a whole workstation with some tweezers like $800. That is way too much, and I didn't think that the Chinese made any decent ones until I found this one here, which is um, made by a company called ATTEN, Atten, I guess, uh, Shenzhen Atten Technology Company Limited. And they seem to make industrial quality equipment, and for $200 instead of $800, I was able to purchase this workstation with these tweezers here and these tweezers are exactly what you want i'll put it on the other camera so we can look at it more closer in a second so first of all it has this unit over here and that thing weighs a ton it's like two kilograms i suspect like four four and a half pounds and it must have a great big transformer in it, I guess, um, instead of just a lightweight switching mode power supply, which is actually good because it will probably last longer and be easy to fix if it ever fails. But I haven't looked inside, so I'm not entirely sure, but it is very heavy indeed. And it is actually simple to operate. It's got, uh, this is the temperature it sets to, and that's the temperature that's currently at. Um, and you can select, you can set these three buttons to uh, preset temperatures, like this one I set preset 350, this one preset to 200, and this one's preset to 400. So I've got it sort of cooking at uh, 200 right now. I'm, I, I don't want it to uh, heat up the, the thing unnecessarily, but as you can see, it just heats up almost instantaneously, which is good. Uh, like my T12 soldering stations that I've made up, it actually goes to sleep after a preset number of minutes and it reduces the temperature to, um, I think it's, is it 200 degrees or 150 degrees, something like that. And then after um, a preset number of minutes, I set it to 15, it actually goes to sleep proper and then it turns off the heating altogether for you which is a feature I like. And when you pick up the soldering iron and, and um, it'll turn back on again. So that's all good, simple to operate. No extraneous information I don't need to know. Uh, so I like that. So let's switch cameras and we can talk some more. So what I have learned is that the right type of tweezers is what these are. And they have points on them that are shaped like that. So they actually they're like you know they're like this, not like that, and not like this. Whereas <clears throat> the tweezers that do not work that I've tried before are like this. Now for a start. These Atten tweezers are 50 watts per tip, so they're 100 watts in total, and that is what you need. These things are only 44 watts, and you only have 22, 22 watts per tip. Um, it says so on the back here, 44 watts. And these tips here. For a start, they hardly ever mate. They get, as you can see, they, they slide past each other half the time. So then you've got to twist them a bit and, you know, it's a pain in the neck. And they don't have enough power. And also, because they're flat, they they just do not work. They These are just, don't buy these, they're junk. They look impressive, but they're not. Then I got these things here to try before, and they meet like this, and that's no good either. 
because when you are working on a uh, PC board and you want to get to some components, I mean, you just can't get to them. You see, it's hitting the capacitor and, and the thing there, and even if you go on this side, I can't grip that that capacitor over here. Whereas with these, you can, see? With these, you can grip them. And, you know, there's no way that you can get in there because these they get in the way. So I, I actually bent the tips over, as you, you might be able to see here. It actually made them work a lot better on components that you can get to. They actually started to work uh, a little bit, but um, also these kind of tweezers, don't buy these. They are no good. The only tweezers that work are the ones that look like these. And you can see, like over here, they are very similar to the Weller tweezers. Picture is a little bit small, but as you can see, they are almost identical. But you look at the price, $378 just for the tweezers. That doesn't even include a uh, soldering station, which will probably set you back another 500 bucks or more. So that is why I figure that these uh, Atan ones, they are just as good. They probably kind of copied them, I guess. Are just as good and they will and uh, uh, as we've tried them they work very well indeed and they are very nice quality and I can definitely recommend these these are good and the whole deal with the workstation was two hundred dollars and so I guess compared to a $800 station from Weller that is much better value. Hakao also makes tweezers, but some of them that they have, I don't like the looks of. They are longer and they, I don't think they're like this. JBC is another company, I think it's JBC, but they all want extra, extraordinary amounts of money for their stuff. So, therefore, if you're looking for a professional, soldering station and tweezers, then you can't go wrong, I don't think, with these uh, Atten ones from AliExpress. Put some flux on there. Maybe even some Yeah, see there it goes. That's the way you're supposed to do it. You can put a little bit of leaded solder on there and some flux. And if you want to solder it back. There we go. Yep, it's solid. Very nice. Yeah, so um it's a successful Come off easy too. There we go. Let's have a look. Here's a big one. We tried that before. So here's some flux.
Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. A little bit of flux and a little bit of lead of solder and it pops up by itself. But anyway, as I said, these tweezers are a total success and I am a happy camper. And um, I've ordered some uh, another insert here that black piece comes out and um, with some larger tweezers on there, which would have made these big ones even easier. They have, but these these ones, of course, you want to use for those tiny little components like these microscopic ones like these okay that went little resistors i mean they just come off so easy good stuff yep, we're all ready for micro soldering now i've also ordered some uh actually some soldering eyes to plug into this thing which i want to try as well they seem to be really good quality. Yeah, so this is the uh, thing here on AliExpress. The one I've got is the one with the uh, this one here with the tweezers. There, you could also buy it with some soldering handles. There is a 50 watt. There is a 100 watt, and um, there is 150 watt uh, inserts and handles available. And I've ordered a couple of those to try them out, uh, especially the 150 watt one I think will be useful because I've got these uh, T12 soldering stations here, which I'm very happy with, but they have about 75 watts and sometimes I need to solder you know a heavy wire onto some ground plane or onto um, a metal case or something like that and um, they are not strong enough for that and these 150 watt inserts here I think that they would do the job so we'll find out how they work when they come. Anyway, this is uh, all I've got for now about uh, tweezers. I am happy these tweezers work very well. They are the right type. And uh, although I had to spend a bit more money than what um, those cheap ones for, you know, 20, 30, 40, $50 and so on are that I've invested money in, which I guess I should sell them on eBay or something. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, this is a solution which I'm happy with now, and I think it is worth $200 for this for this soldering station. Uh, it is very, very good quality. As far as I can tell, every bit as good as the American-made ones, or, well, they're not really made in America, but the other American manufacturers have. And this is, uh, this is what I've come up with. So anyway, until next time, I'll see you guys later.